Hey there, small groups. Today we are finishing up our resilience series. That means we're in week number five and we're talking today about grief. Now in this video, I want to just kind of walk you through the talking points from today's lesson and give you an opportunity as a small group to read the scripture to sort of warm yourselves up before you answer those discussion questions at PursueGod.org. Here's the first thing you need to know today. Grief was not a part of Eden, and it won't be a part of heaven. That's the good news. It's a result of the fall, but there is a good side. Why don't you pause and read together Revelation 21 verse 4. Now, in today's lesson, I want to just go over three different types of grief that you might be experiencing even now. The first one we're going to call victim grief, and that's when you are grieving over someone else's deep relational sin against you. Go ahead and pause and read together Psalm 73, verses 21 to 23. Now, you'll have a chance to talk about this kind of grief in just a little bit in your discussion time. But first, let's go on to the next talking point. Guilt grief is the second kind of grief, and that's when you're sorry for your own sin. Now, here's when this can be good. We talked a little bit about this last week. When it's godly sorrow, then it's a good thing. This is the kind of sorrow that leads you to true repentance. Peter experienced it in Matthew 26, and then Paul talks about it in 2 Corinthians 7. Why don't you pause and read those passages? Now, the final kind of grief is probably the one we've all been waiting for. It's bereavement. This is the kind of grief when you lose a loved one. And here's something that I hope you would find encouragement from today, if this is where you find yourself. Even Jesus experienced this kind of grief. Go ahead and pause and read John eleven thirty three. Now remember, as with every other difficult emotion, harnessing grief is only possible for those who have trusted Jesus for salvation. You know, as you come to the end of the Resilient series in your small group, if you've never trusted Jesus for salvation, why don't you talk about that today in your small group? Because as with every other lesson in this series, this isn't just about self-help. This is really about experiencing resilience because Jesus changes our heart. Why don't you pause and read Ezekiel 36, 26, and then when you're done with that, go on down and talk together about all the discussion questions in today's lesson. And don't forget, if you haven't had a chance to listen to the full podcast for this lesson, make sure to do that.